In this video, we are going to state the number of complex roots, the possible number of real roots, and the possible rational roots. So, stating complex roots and possible number of real roots, that's using Descartes' rule of signs that we had done in the last section. And possible rational roots is using that rational um, zero theorem where we are finding the possible zeros. So, this actually really is just two things we've already done. But we're doing both of them with the same problem. So, this one is actually in your textbook number 26 from page 323. Uh, we starting out with 2x to the 4th minus x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 26 equals 0. Okay, this has to be equal to 0. If not, you need to move terms to the other side of the equal sign to where it's all equal to 0 by adding or subtracting. All right, since this is already equal to, to 0, we're going to look for sign changes, okay? So, yes, we went from positive to negative, so yes, we had one sign change. Going from negative to a positive, so yes, we have a sign change. Going from positive to positive, no sign change. Positive to a negative, yes, we have a sign change. So, I'm going to say positive real, and we're just going to make a little table over here, okay, negative real, and then we're going to do complex or imaginary, so complex, which is imaginary, okay, so I have three yeses, so that means I could have possibly three real roots. Yeah, they're positive. Or less than that by an even number, that means I could also have one positive real root. Now, what I need to do is plug in negative x, so for all the x's, all right, so to check for negative roots, all right. So the only thing it'll do is it'll change the sign of all odd exponents. So this one won't change the sign, but this one will. Okay, because that's the cubed and that's to the fourth. So we have 2x to the fourth power. When we plug in negative x, we get, for all x's, we get plus x cubed. And plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 26 equals 0. So going from here to here, no sign change. From this term to this term, no sign change because they're still positives. But from this one to this one, we're going from positive to a negative. So yes, we have a sign change. From this one to this one, no sign change. Okay. So we have one negative real. And since we can't go less than that by a negative, it's always going to be one negative. Now, the key here, we have our degree is four. That means there are four answers. So if I have three real positives and one real negative, that means there would be no real complex or imaginary. Or if I had one real positive and one real negative, that means that in that case, I would have two imaginaries. Now, we're told to find the possible roots. So, what does that mean? It means we take factors of the last term over factors of the leading coefficient. So, factors of 26 are positive and negative 1, positive and negative 26. Factors of 2 are positive and negative 1, positive and negative 2. So when we put these over 1, 
we get the whole numbers. Um, we also have positive and negative 13 because 13 times 2 is 26 so that means we also have a positive and negative 2. So those are all of the factors of 26. So 1 times 26, 13 times 2. That's how I got them. I just divided. So we take all of those and I can put them in order. We will have the whole numbers and then we have to put each one of those over 2. So our answer is going to be Here's all our possibilities. Positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 13, positive or negative 26. And then putting each of those over 2, positive or negative 1 over 2 is 1 half. Now if I put 2 over 2, it reduces to 1, so I don't have to write it because it would be a repeat. And then positive or negative 13 over 2. And then when I put 26 over 2, I get 13. So we already have that. So these are right here. It. So we have positive or negative 1, 2, 13, 26, 1 half, 13 halves. Positive or negative of each of those are all of the possible rational roots. Now, that's just narrowing it down from every number there is in the world, which is an infinite number of numbers. So going from infinity to this, that's not too bad. All right. Have fun with these.